Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on correlation statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and uh, we'll be looking at tied ranks. The first video on Spearman's correlation coefficient treated on tied ranks. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the first video. So we start with the first problem. For problem one, calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the data in the table. So this is the table for row X and the Y. So before we go, this is the formula for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient uh, from here the six is constant d is the difference between the rank of x and the y while n is the sum of the frequency or the total number of items we are dealing with in the table so here we create another table for rank of x and the rank of a uh, y from there we'll be able to get d and d squared so to get the rank for x we are going to rearrange x in descending order starting from the highest so the highest value of x here is 15 so we have a 15 the next value is 12 we have a 12 the next value is 10 and 10 is being repeated so we have 10 here 10 here it is being repeated and uh, we have a uh, 8 which is also repeated then we now rank them normally that will give us 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we now consider the ones that are repeated the 10 is repeated 8 is repeated so the ones that are repeated we go to their ranks we go to their ranks that is for 10 the ranks are 3 and uh, 4 so what we do is to find the average of these 3 and 4 and give it to them as their new ranks so 3 plus 4 is 7 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 so the new ranks for these tens will be 3.5 so this is the method of resolving tied ranks in spearman's correlation coefficient we now resolve the ranks for 8 the ranks are 5 and 6 so we add them divide by 2 that's finding the average 11 divided by 2 gives 5.5 so the new ranks for these two eights will be 5.5 5.5 so we now go ahead to assign the ranks to x so we have the first value of x there to be 10 and the rank is 3.5 the next value is 8 the rank is 5.5 the next value is 12 um, 12 the rank is 2 the next one is 15 and the rank is 1 we have a uh, 8 the rank is 5.5 10 and the rank is 3.5 so we are done ranking x so we now go ahead to rank y so again we arrange the values of y in descending order the highest value of y here is 9 so we have 9 followed by 8 we have 7 and 7 is repeated then 6 finally four we said again we rank them normally so that will be one two three four five and six we now go ahead to consider the numbers that are repeated then we resolve their ranks 
in this case we have seven being repeated so to resolve their ranks we add this 3 plus 4 gives a uh, 7 divided by 2 gives 3.5 so their ranks now will now be 3.5 so 3.5 here 3.5 here so that's how to resolve that uh, tied ranks so we go ahead to assign each value of y by their rank so we have 7 the rank of 7 is 3.5 we have 4 the rank is 6 we have a 6 the rank is 5 we have 7 and the rank is 3.5 we have 9 9 the rank is 1 and finally we have 8 and the rank of 8 is 2 so we are done finding the ranks of a uh, y so we now go ahead to find d that is the difference between the ranks of x and y so we start 3.5 minus 3.5 gives 0 5.5 minus 6 gives negative 0 0.5 2 minus 5 gives negative 3 1 minus 3.5 gives negative 2.5 5.5 minus 1 gives 4.5 3.5 minus 2 gives 1.5 then we find d squared so squaring 0 we have 0 squaring negative 0 0.5 gives 0 0.25 squaring this will give us a 9 squaring 2.5 gives 6.25 Squaring 4.5 gives 20.25, 1.5 gives 2.25. So we are done. We now add this to give us the summation of d squared. So adding this, we can do that from our calculator. We have it as 38. So having gotten 38, we substitute into the formula for spearman's rank correlation coefficient so that rk will be equal to one minus six summation of d squared is 38 over the number of items we have here one two three four five six that's over six into six squared minus one um here we can use calculator to resolve this that will now give us 1.085714 and the final result gives negative 0 0.085714 which gives the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the data we have in this table and the interpretation here is it is negatively correlated that's the interpretation remember we said the value of spearman's rank correlation coefficient ranges from negative one to positive one so if it is close to negative one it is highly negatively correlated but if it is close to positive one it is highly positively correlated if it is very close to zero from negative side it is slowly negatively correlated and if it is very close to zero from the positive side it is slowly positively correlated so we can see this one now is it is close to zero from the negative side not very close not very very close so we still say ne just negatively correlated though it's slow so we go to problem two for problem two the table below shows the sales x and expenses y of eight companies in millions of naira calculate rank correlation coefficient so we're still talking about spearman's rank correlation coefficient so we have our formula um again we are going to find the ranks of x and the ranks of a uh, y to find the rank of a uh, x we are going to rearrange x in descending order 
the highest value of x there is 71 so we have 71 followed by 70 66 62 60 50 is repeated twice then 40 we said we are going to rank them normally that will give us 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and uh, 8 we now considered the repeated uh, values and resolve their ranks so the repeated values here are 50 and 50 so to resolve their rank is to find the average of their ranks so that is 6 plus 7 then divide by 2 since there are two values that will give us 6.5 so this 6 and 7 will be replaced with 6.5 and uh, we now assign each of the values their ranks for 50 we have 6.5 as its rank 62 we have it as 4 40 we have it as uh, 8 50 is 6.5 71 we have the rank as 1 60 the rank is 5 66 the rank is 3 and 70 the rank is 2 so we are done finding the ranks of x we go ahead to find the rank of y so again we arrange y in descending order the highest value of y there is 60 followed by 55 55 is 1 um, 48 48 is repeated thrice so we have 48 48 and uh, we then have 40 35 and 30 we said we are ranking them normally that's giving us one two three four five six seven eight then we now consider the repeated uh, values so that's 48 is repeated thrice we now consider their ranks their ranks are three four and five so we find the average of three four and five that will give us 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5 gives 12. Then 12 divided by 3 will give us a 4. So all these ranks now will be replaced with 4. Then we now go ahead to assign their ranks. 48, the rank is 4. 40, the rank is 6. 35, the rank is 7. 30 the rank is 8 48 the rank is 4 55 the rank is 2 48 the rank is 4 60 the rank is 1 so we are done finding the rank of y so we now go ahead to find d and then d squared uh, 6.5 minus 4 gives a uh, 2.5 minus 6 gives negative 2 8 minus 7 gives 1 6.5 minus 8 gives negative 1.5 1 minus 4 gives negative 3 5 minus 2 gives 3 3 minus 4 gives negative 1 2 minus 1 gives a 1 so go ahead to find d squared 2.5 squared gives a 6.25 negative 2 squared gives a 4 1 2.25 9 9 1 and a 1 we will now add d squared to give us summation of d squared so adding this we have a 35.5 from our calculator we then substitute into the formula so that our arrow key will be equal to 1 minus 6 and summation of d squared is 33.5 over the number of frequencies we have here is 8 into 8 squared minus 1 that will now give us 1 minus evaluating this with our calculator we have it as 1 minus 0 0.39 8 
eight. So, and our final answer is zero point six zero one two. So, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is positively correlated. And that is the end of solution to problem two. And this is the end of this video. Don't forget to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the first video on Spearman's rank correlation coefficient without tied uh, ranks. Until we come your way again, goodbye.